Coming from the last concept, we were talking about your shop, the international market, getting 100 people or more to come into your shop and look around in a day, which gets us a little closer to another key concept. People finding you for what you have to offer. Now, this isn't going to be a lengthy segment, but really think about this. Uh, I have a very close friend in Columbus, Ohio, who's, uh, looking, who, who's looking for a job. And she's very bright, she's outgoing, she's bubbly, she has a bunch of experiences, she can write well, she's computer literate. Uh, she, I mean, she's the kind of person that, that people are looking for, but she, had, she was trying to find a job the wrong way. She was actually going out and trying to find people when anyone with a small firm or a corporation would love to have someone who shows up on time when they get there they can be very productive they can help uh, uh, earn bit money and you know I mean she's all of that in a bag of chips okay so uh, so it, I told her hey look just set up you know get post ads on Craigslist you know that's one way but set up your own website and then offer a service that that people need and help people find you let people find you this series is about yes working at home and uh, specifically how to set up an internet business at home though if you want to work at home there's a lot of things that you can do at home that that people can come to you for different services that you have locally uh, so so you can take this to an international stage or you can do it in a small town setting in a in a maybe a hundred square block area in a major city so you can do it locally or you can do it internationally the thing is a key concept to keep in mind is yes we have the shop concept getting people to come to your shop but what we're going to help you do is take your specific skill and help people find you which is the beauty of the internet and search engine and this is called search engine engine optimization and whatever I tell you don't get blown away uh, uh, will take you through this process now a bit more specific uh, uh, you you will identify a specific skill that you have and we want to make it so that people go to Google they go to Bing and they type in your skill in your geographic location and they find you and then you have a web presence so that they can read about you they can call you up the whole deal okay now case in point which is maybe a bad example uh, but there's all kinds of weird stuff down here in Mexico like there's a guy around the corner all he does is fix fans I mean fans that's it he's got a very small little shop and people come to him from all over town to fix their fan the guy in the shop next to him he does upholstery any kind of upholstery you need done it can be for a car your boat <laughs> whatever I mean, this guy is always busy neither one of them have websites they could enhance their business greatly with a website but the thing is there are people that will go to Google and type in can you fix my fan can you reupholster my car there there are all kinds of weird needs that millions of people have or again we don't need millions of people to get your boat up and going we need hundreds of people so going back to the previous episode the shop taking that a step further to allowing people to find you in the hundreds to start out and to pay you money to share their wealth with you for the specific skill that you have via the internet it's not that hard to do 
and we will show you how to do that in a future segment. That's how I have made my living, gosh, for a good 20, 25 years between writing children's books and being a web geek here in Puerto Vallarta. Thank you.